In Cambodia, one of our big challenges is migration. There are a lot of costs that are affected from migration. It could be exploitation, it could be human trafficking, it should be all kinds of abuse. Our main beneficiary is women and children that are affected by uh, human trafficking, slavery, and all kinds of abuse. I never met my father. I got hit by my mom all this time, and I believe and I trust only my grandpa. After my grandfather's death, I feel like I lost everything, and I start to know the drug and I start to know how to drink alcohol, smoke. When I'm the babies, my mom bring me in the bin. Life become work. When I'm 16, the man rapes me. I come to pregnant. In three years old, I was uh, suffer from the polio virus. And then I lost my leg. My homeland is near Thai and Cambodia border. So um, many strangers, they come to my village and meet my mother. They ask, I work as the beggar. The first day that I arrived in Haga, I ran away many times, and the last time, I stopped to run away because there is a volunteer English teacher. He came to me while I'm staying with the gang. He asked the gang to take me out from the gang and in that time he started to cry. He put the knees on the floor and then he said, please don't run away, stay here, study hard and take care of yourself. When I come to Hegar the first time, I'm so scared all the boy, but the Rima is the counselor. He helped me love myself and love the people around me. It's the big thing for my life. He got helped me study for cooking, helped me for find a job and find the money and can support myself. Last year, my doctor Soli got very sick and Dr. Cambodia cannot help. And I call Hega and Hega Singapore help me go to operation in Singapore. The first time in Hega, I feel very happy because we have everything like food, good accommodation and studying. I'm not a good boy. But day by day, year by year, Hega staff counseling, they change me. They they work with the love, with the passion. In Haga there is no shortcut. There's no quick fit to work with women and children that are being severe of human trafficking. Our counselor, they play a role as the teacher, they play a role as the friend, parent, you know. So it takes time. Right now, I work with Hega as a boy counselor. I choose to study psychology because I, I can say my life changed through the counseling service. Before, I, I never think that I can't marry it. And he loved me so much. For the big future, I just want to have a counseling center in Cambodia to provide the trauma treatment to my people. Every week I go to church, I help to look up the children and welcome the people come to church and teach the youth to read the Bible and know more about God. My daughter Solika very important in my life. Sometimes when I'm sad, my daughter makes me smile, to joke with me, and help me a lot. Today, I'm a doctor. It is time also that I start my action to help the poor people. The mobile clinic first started just alone by myself. And then I got a few uh, volunteer. Currently, the mobile clinic go to eight slum every month. We give them the medical support and treatment with some medication. 
a lot of life has been transformed through our services. We are work collaboratively with other organizations to provide uh, uh, vocational training skill, to provide leadership, and also the uh, employment opportunities to our client. Haga walked the whole journey with our client. We never give up. We want to see them in the fullness of life, have a second chance to reconnect it to their family and community.